Welcome to part number 17 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to do the Lightweight K-Car Championship. Why not British Lightweight? I don't know. I just don't feel like it. Because I just feel like getting in the midget, doing the Lightweight K-Car Cup, and getting this over with. So yeah, we're going to use the midget that we won from the pickup truck race. And put all of our hard-earned money into this damn thing. Weight's not even an issue, it's power that we need. So yeah, let's just increase all the power. The 111R Premium gets the 530pp maxed out. I have a regular release that I bought from the used car dealership. So if we did that championship, that's what we would be using. And besides, I gotta finish the beginner league events anyways. What kind of transmission? 20,000? Uh, you know what? We'll bite the bullet. We'll just use, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll just use the regular transmission, I guess. And anyways, if we need money anyways, we could just go back to the GC World Championship and give it a second go. But regardless... Here we are, beginner series, gave it a good amount of power, lightweight K-Cup, two rounds, Autumn Ring Mini and Suzuka, and who could we use, Maldonado or Vargas? Vargas is now level 10. Let's go with Vargas, he's feeling good. After that disappointment at Daytona, if regular transmission has three gears, I'll laugh. I think it has four. Oh, there's another midget, and it's also white. White midget power sounds bad. <laughs> you know, the bright side is there's no Suzuki cappuccinos or cappuccinos in here. So that's something that's a positive, I guess. And here we go. Those are some really short gears. I thought the other midget was mine's. Well, this midget is probably OP, but I don't really care. Yeah, it does have four. I knew it. I remember the midget championship from GT4, so that's why. And besides, in GT6, midgets were fun to tune around and mess around with. Around the outside, into the lead, temporarily. Unless the Alta works outruns them. The Midget Championship? Hmm. Yeah, it's in the Daihatsu. Oh, well, obviously, it's in Daihatsu. Who had the smallest midget? Let's find out. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Daihatsu midgets, but it's like, dude, I can buy this car for like $2,000 in the used car dealership. And it's a pickup truck challenge. Like, I get it, it's a pickup truck, but it's like, why do they purposely have to give us this truck? Couldn't we get the Silverado or something? But no, it's ca it's caused being a troll as usual. The midget with quotation marks means I'm taking it out of context. <laughs> Well, lap number three. I like how the crowd is clapping for a midget leading the pack. Suzuki wagon in the back, let's hear. What is this? I forget what this is. I think it's another wagon from Suzuki. There's the sister midget. Or a twin, I mean. AZ1. Copen. 
move and outwards. All right, three more laps to go. The MR Sport. Oh, okay. Well, this midget is hauling ass. I mean, I guess that's all I could ask for. Then again, we did pretty much just drop almost, what, around 50,000 grand on this thing? Fi yeah, 50 grand on this thing. Just to make it OP. When we could have just bought a Suzuki Cappuccino or Cappuccino and just called it a day. Oh, why don't I read previous comments? Well, I overlooked it. Sorry. Lap 3 of the delivery and the groceries is still loping the same street. Also, there's the car list. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the car list. MR Wagon, that's right. The Mr. Wagon. Yep, and he's just dominating Suzuki Wagon RRR, best name for a wagon when it's all-wheel drive or FR. <laughs> is the MR Wagon, is that even a mid-engine car? I doubt it. Final lap. And Vargas has a huge lead. Nine seconds to be exact, and I don't really care if he just dominates with this midget. I really do not. Like, I like K cars, but it's just like the fact that the MR Sport is not MR anyways, it's an FF. Yeah, false advertisement. But, um, unless it's called Mr. <laughs> but I'll see a period after the R. But yeah, the fact that we got a midget for all that hard work at the pickup truck challenge, it's... Such a slap in the face. But hey, I guess it's a truck. Those are all FR cars except for the AZ being MR and the Altaworks being all-wheel drive. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I remember the Altaworks being on back, was preparing dinner. Alright. Well, you missed out on something really disappointing. So, for all the hard work of doing the pickup truck challenge, we won what you're seeing right now. Freaking Daihatsu Midget. They're doing construction outside or something. I remember the Alta Works being used in the Ascari out of track glitch. I forgot about that glitch. <laughs> Die Heart Sue Midget. I heard but wasn't able to see. Ah, okay. We have a Z Act. The OFC 1 and the Beat are going to be really tough to fight. Oh my god, we have a Z. Oh, no, no, we have a beat, an OFC1, and a cappuccino, and a Copen in this race. Oh, boy. We're going to need to get to the lead, and we're going to get there. We need to get there fast. The cappuccino is going to be really tough to fight. The OFC is a freaking course to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> And away we go. Of course, we have a good launch. The Z Act is just a sitting duck. See, what I'm scared of is the straightaway. We only have four gears, and I think this thing's on the top at like at 80 miles an hour. According to GT5 description, the MR of the MR Wagon Sport stands for Magical Relax. Oh, really?
Okay, well, we're up to second. The OFC 1 is just leading right now. So it's a fellow the high 2, the high 2 1 2. There's no way Vargas can literally spin this thing out. It's a midget. This thing has no power, so I'm just going to make him get super aggressive. There we go. Whoops, sorry. I smacked my microphone. Yep, and just like I predicted, the Copen is going to be up there. The Cappuccino, where is he? He's stuck in seventh. All right. 75 miles an hour is the top speed of this thing. The OFC 1, or as I like to call it, the MK 1.5 Copen. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this guy has no speed whatsoever. No oh my god! Okay, so that's the plan, I guess. Vargas needs to push really hard in the S's, so that way he can have enough of a gap. The driver in sixth name, S. Fujiwara. S. Cabello, E. Ackerman. Team Early H. Done. I'm not really seeing. Oh! Okay. Cabello? What about him? No, Fujiwara is in sixth place, dude. Driving a Minica. Oh, dude, I still need to watch Initial D. Like, I I told myself in the summer I was gonna watch it, but nope. Let's go on board with Jensen. So how much is, uh, how much of the gap is he gonna close by turn one? Not too much. I think we pretty much have the race in the bag. We can't let Vargas get comfortable. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to. I will watch it eventually. I'll have to go see it. Thanks for the great moments. Ah, oh, no problem, Fabinator. Thanks for stopping by, dude. All right, let's see what's happening in the back. The Honda Beat's starting to close the gap. Cabello finally up to fourth. I seriously thought the Cappuccino was going to be faster than this, but I guess the OFC 1 is the best K car. That poor Honda Z act. Such a cool car, but man, it's slow. It's so weird looking at this as a standard car because it's super premium in GT Sport now. And it looks so good in GT Sport. I mean, it's really cool that we got the Beat, the S660, and the Copen. But I really hope we get um, the Cappuccino. I hope we get the Move. I hope we get more K cars in GT Sport. I wonder if my lady will be able to come over after the day she returns from being with her family as I... As we haven't seen each other in more than a week. Ah. Well, hopefully, dude. You know what? Let's give Ackerman some love in the Honda Z Act. He's pretty much treating this as like a test session or like a track day. I mean, then again, he has like no power whatsoever.
Ooh, we got a little battle here for third. Lol, that OFC is a French car is the best K car. <laughs> Whoa! Sick drift by the Honda Beat. On the beat your meat. <laughs> DSP style. Not on camera though, no. Maybe if I start uploading the Pornhub, maybe. But I gotta get really famous first before it becomes relevant. Alright, last lap. All we can really do is entertain ourselves with lol demonetized. <laughs> Not like I was monetized to begin with. I like the helicopter shot. Dude, this is such a spread field, like there's like no competition, literally. The OFC one is just leading the, the cappuccino by a huge amount, who's leading the beat by a huge amount. The Copen and the Move are having like an okay fight, but then the Minica's all by himself, and the Honda Z Act literally just started the final lap. This guy has more top speed than we do, but his acceleration is really poor. And Vargas is getting a little bit too comfortable, so we need him to pick up the pace a little bit more. By a little bit, I mean a lot. All right, out of the final corner. He went to Suzuka. I think it's a drone shot. How can a helicopter fit in the track? Oh, that's true. Were drones even around in 2010? <laughs> Were they a thing in 2010? 50,000 credits now. Yeah, only a handful of credits and a handful of XP. That's no surprise. All right, replay time. And prize car time. What are we going to win? Another K car? Which, I won't be surprised. That'll be good for the K car championship that's next. Yeah, there were for the Iraq war in 2010. Oh, okay. The more you know, I guess. So, only two more championships for the beginner series to go. We have, we both have two cars for this thing, but it needs to be heavily modified. So, the Auto Bianchi and the Volkswagen 1200. The high to move? Okay. At least it's not like one of the um, Honda Z Act or something. At least it's a better K car. Hey, Barney, how you doing? I was going to say any moment now, game. Nano 8 Blue Livery is the best FAP mobile. You mean model? Yeah, I don't really like the other livery for the 908. The blue one is the best. Okay. Well, let's go check out our brand new The High to Move. Mobile pronounced as in Mobile. <laughs> okay. Well, there's our move. Cool, I guess. So, next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, hopefully we can do something a little bit better than this. True, the blue one is better. Yep, I agree 100%.